real sense of this is global. Fantastic. I was very interested to hear some of the panelists talk about differences in South Africa or Brazil. Um, clearly, uh, well-known stories of success in terms of India and UPI. And yeah, I think I guess feels like it's or originated in the UK and Europe, but it's, it's very much gone global. Fantastic. And it's been kind of five years, you know, since inception of it as well. Like, what would you say, kind of, um, you know, is kind of next on the journey here? What, what do you think uh, needs to happen to, to really kind of, you know, spark some more life into it? Yeah, I guess you, you mean particularly in the UK, the five years uh, yes. journey. So. I guess actually it goes back even further, right, to the whole CMA inquiry so, back in 2014-15 that originally stipulated this ahead of PSD2. I mean, I, I think for me, we're still kind of on that adoption curve. Yep. I always sort of liken it to Contactless, where Barclay Card launched Contactless in 2007, and then Oyster Transport for London came in in 2014, and yep. now everyone uses Contactless for everything, right? But it's quite a journey to get there. And I, I think open banking is kind of the same where you've been in a slow burn period in, in the UK and it's, it is picking up momentum though. I think about 7 million customers now use open banking. That's, that's a right. decent yeah. portion of the population. Um, so yeah, I hope to see that trajectory really pick up. Fantastic to hear. And for Alec Bank as well, where in, in terms of open banking around kind of lending decisions and you know faster kind of credit decisions as well. How do you see you kind of implementing open banking into that journey and beyond? Yeah, I, I'd say we see two use cases we're excited about. Uh, one is lending, as you say. Um, now, actually, one of the panelists was talking about the fact that open banking adoption is higher in markets where you're starting from a lower base. And yep. actually, on SME lending, there's something the government introduced in 2017 where essentially open data sharing, but not via open banking APIs for, for commercial credit data. Yep. So it gives a fair amount of lift already. But do you really think there's, there's good use cases around, for example, helping an SME customer produce really up-to-date cash P&L, yeah. um, supplement, say, their audited accounts of company's house. Uh, really, really think some of those things can be good to take, take time out of the journey for, uh, for a customer. Um, then the other use case I get quite excited about is actually for savings. Okay, yeah. And sweeping or BRP for that, I think it's quite interesting where there's 250 billion pounds of SME savings in the UK. Or yes. Credit balances. And let's be honest, almost all that's getting paid pretty much zero when the Bank of England rates approaching 5%, i.e. banks are ripping off their customers. So I think there's a great role to play in terms of BRP sweeping type product for helping SMEs earn more yield on their savings.